What I love about Glide is that they let you experiment with their latest features. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a beautiful slider using their new multi-image column. Now, I'm sure they're gonna release a component in the very near future that will make this workaround completely redundant. But until that gets released, here's a simple and fairly elegant way of getting it done. Let's jump in. To enable the multi-image column, head to your dashboard, click previews, and enable the multi-file upload. Once that's enabled, open your app and head to the data tab. For this example, I'm creating a real estate app like Zillow or realestate.com.au. So let's add the new multi-image column and call it slides slash images. Now that we've added this column, we're gonna to head to the layout tab, open the details page of a listing, click the edit button and add an image picker component. As soon as we select the multi-image column as the data column, you'll see Glide gives us the ability to upload multiple images in one go. Let's add a few images for this listing. Beautiful. If we jump to the back end, we'll see that our images are nicely stored as an array in our multi-image column. And bam, I repeated the process for the other listings and you can see all of our images are ready to go. Now let's add a new column called slides slash count. We're gonna make this column a roll up column and summarize the values of our multi image column by calculating the count. Next, we'll add a column called slides slash end. This is going to be a simple number column. We're gonna make it user specific and we can simplify the formatting so it's just an integer. Now we wanna add a new column to the left of this called slides slash start. This is going to be a math column. And all we're doing here is getting the number from our end column and subtracting one from this number. So if our end number is two, our start number will be one. Once that's in place, we're gonna add a column called slides slash current image. This is going to be a slice array column. The value or array we're gonna slice up is the array from our slides images column. We're gonna select our start column as the start and the end column as the end. Now what we need to do is turn this result into a text string that we can use as the source of an image component on our layout screen. To do that, all we need to do is add a single value column called slides slash current image link. Then we get the first value from our current image column and that's it for the back end. Now let's configure the front end. This is a custom collection of our listings. The first thing we wanna do is change the aspect ratio of our featured image to 16 by nine so we can make room for some slider buttons below. Next, let's change the source of our image from the featured image to the current image link we created earlier. Next, let's add a button block beneath this image. These are gonna be our slider buttons. Let's leave the width wide, select none for the accent and hide the labels. Even though we're hiding the titles, let's name the first button previous slide. Then select the back arrow as the icon. The action this button will perform will be a custom action. I've already created this action, but before I explain how it works, let's configure the second button. Let's call it next slide and add a forward arrow as the icon. Then we wanna create a custom action called next slide. All right, let's take a look at these actions. This is the next slide action and it does three things. If slides slash end is empty, we wanna use a set column value action that sets the slides slash end value for this particular listing to two. Then if we're currently viewing the last slide, we wanna loop back to the first slide when they click the next button. And to achieve this, we set the column value of the slides slash end to one. In all other cases, we wanna increment the value of the end number by one. And the previous slide action is very similar. If slides slash end is empty or it's currently set to one, we wanna show the last image in our multi image array which in this case is the same as the count column we created earlier. 
In all other cases, we want to increment our slides slash end value by negative one. And that's it. We've used the multi image column to create beautiful sliders for our real estate listings. And since actions are reusable throughout your app, we can copy these buttons, open the details page of our listing, change the style of this container, paste the buttons, drag them into the container, change the source of our image to current image, and bam, we've got ourselves another slider. Now, if you want to level up your glide skills for free and make money as a glide developer, I encourage you to click the link in the description of this video and join low code school. I hope to see you on the inside.